Apparently, my favorite book when I was young was Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Really? <laughs> and that's one of those things where whenever my mom would say, go get a book to read, I must have come back with that 90% of the time because it had cool elves and it had a big mountain of treasure and it had you know a, a mystery of going through the caves and whatever else it might be. Somehow that was just incredibly attractive to me. But then after a while, I was like turning the pages for her because I knew the story and and I guess because I was able to read on my own relatively early. I was reading before I was in school. You know what I mean? My my parents and I don't know. I I was already odd in that way. If I had a pretty big vocabulary and I had I I could read on my own early. Um, probably one of those things where I couldn't hold some of the books I was reading. You can't read the Encyclopedia Britannica when you can't hold the book. You know what I mean? So you had to put it out on the table. And that's one of the best books, man. When I was little looking at that, it's like every page has something new. Honestly, I, you know, that really was the first rabbit hole experience where I'd be working on a report, probably, I don't know, third grade or something like that. And I'd go to look up about uh, uh, John Paul Jones. And then, of course, while you're there, you read other things that about him and that war. And then you're on the J page. And so it's like, well, what about John? And, and it was just, I remember kind of coming to and going, well, that was fun, but I, I didn't, I'm not, my report isn't done.